All right, see what's happening. So, recently gone through a little knife purge here. So a lot of my knives. Um, this is really all I have left. This, these are the six knives, I guess you'd say, that survived the cut, um, the great purge of 2020, we'll call it. So, I do have a new one coming in. Ha <laughs> ha, the irony, right? But I gotta be honest with you guys. I've been doing this video, YouTube stuff for six years, maybe five, six years, something like that. And been in the knives pretty much that whole time, maybe a little even before that. And uh, yeah, I'm up at a point now where like nothing really gets me going. Like nothing excites me. That whole like, oh, you know, every new knife coming out, I gotta get something new all the time. It's not really. I'm doing videos for the content. Uh, luckily, I have a good relationship with Blade Ops. They can provide some of these knives for me to do videos on. So I don't have to buy them all because I would, yeah, that'd be expensive. But and I and I like some of those knives, but I've never, I haven't kept any of them. I've no, I've, you know, they always offer me the option to purchase those knives, and I don't, I don't usually do it. And it's nothing that there's wrong with the knives. It's <clears throat> they're actually all perfectly good, you know, solid knives. It's uh, it's me. It's not you. It's me. Is that's what she said. <laughs> And I don't know what it is, guys, but it's just it's just the way it is. And I've been focusing a lot more on gun stuff. I've been way more into that hobby lately. And, and it's been like this for the duration of my channel. I've shifted back and forth. But if you looked at the majority of my videos, they're mostly on knives. So that's definitely the highest uh, content I have is on knives. So the reason why I'm making this video is just kind of like just to, to get your guys' feelings, thoughts. Like, do you get like this? Do you get bored? I know some of my buddies in the knife community have been buddies with for a long time have kind of had the same sentiments I have. So so why are these ones, you know, why did these these ones survive? And I'll kind of tell you why. So we'll start with the hinder. And I've got just in my little uh, case that holds like way more knives than I need because I only have this many now. Uh, minus like a few, you know, knives I've stored in cars and stuff like that. But um, high, as far as high quality, this is my EDC rotation. This is what I carry. So the, the hinder knives XM18 uh, 3.5 Warren Cliff is been with me a long time uh quite a few years bought this out of rick's pocket it has a lot of sentimental value because of that meeting rick hinder just always been a fan of hinder and knives such a down-to-earth awesome guy um just chatted with him for a long time and to be able to buy his own knife and his personal use edc knife was pretty awesome so this one will probably i don't think i'll ever get rid of it i just sharpen it again i use it i carry it all the time let's see if we can get that edge on camera at all to pick up so it's been sharpened multiple times, 20 CV, really good heat tree on this. It's got the dog paw hardware, kind of matching blue scale, black hardware. That's just, you know, the XM18 is classic. One of the best knives ever designed in my opinion. So had to have one of those. So let's see, in fact, I need to use this knife real quick. I've got a thread on my shirt. Yes. Hard use, baby. That's what striders are made for. <laughs> striders. Uh, Everyone was like, I can't believe you sold your Mandalorian um, Boba Fett ZT. This is why. Because <laughs> this is way cooler. And I picked it up, um, got in a trade, and yeah, really good. Ended up being a really good deal for me. And these were very rare. Um, they're Prometheus Design Works collab. This particular one, with the, they were all tiger stripe and green handle. This one with all, all black, black oxide. Uh, PSF 27 it and then it has this is the way in the back and then it has the Prometheus design work logo on the clip And this one is so freaking smooth and nice the new pivot design, which I'm hoping they do on All the new striders they are on the new model that just got released, which is what I have coming in in so Got lucky on the drop there, but this one's definitely sticking around um, It's just speaks to me a lot because I'm a huge Star Wars particularly Boba Fett and the Mandalorian fan. So yeah, had to have that one. That one's not going anywhere. This one is actually a, dupl a duplicate of one I already bought. So I bought this at the, I bought these, both these knives were I bought at the USN show last year. This one by my buddy, the one I, other one I had by me. I ended up selling a bunch of knives and I don't know why I sold that Strider because this is like my favorite variation of maybe that one will take the place. But right now with this Multicam Black, I'm kind of obsessed with Multicam Black and multi-cam black handle atex camo you got uh pd1 steel the msc clip the anodization on the other side on the lock side the camo is just so dope um just sharpened this one actually recently too this one gets used and carried a lot 
it's so smooth it's so well broken in that is a thing guys i've seen some people make kind of light of that comment with striders there is a breaking period with them you know what though they'll last you freaking forever they really will so those two striders i have another strider on the way obviously a strider fan emerson man this is an old school emerson from 2001 that's how old this knife is um i didn't get it in 2001 i wasn't even into knives in 2001 but uh I got it recently it's a mini cqc7 no wave i think it's so ergonomic it's so comfy it's just a beater knife i beat on it sharpened it um it's very smooth it's got kind of late lock up because it's old <laughs> but it's just a classic design emerson it's just a good edc and it's a one knife i just use a lot so that one stayed around probably because i couldn't get much out of it if i sold it <laughs> Next up is the Para 3 and M3, excuse me, K390 with the Mica Sontag MS Custom Knives. Regrind, 10 thousandths behind the edge. This thing's a slicing machine. You guys know the Para 3 is one of my favorite all time knives, especially with the Skinny Mod. These have the Ranger Green uh, Skinny Mod. I tried Titanium, I've tried Micarta. I always come back to these color of scales. I just love the color on these. Got the Uncle Mike's deep carry clip off eBay, which is my favorite pair of three clip. I did a video on those, but I, I had a bunch of pair of threes. I just narrowed it down to have the one in K390 with the regrind. Um, just re I had I part of this knife purge was not just because I was bored. It's also because I needed money. <laughs> I had to put two kids in braces this week alone, and I just bought a camp trailer, so it's like you know some costs. So sometimes, and you know, let's look. Let's be real, guys. How many knives do we really need? Probably one, right? I could carry this pair of three every single day and it would do everything I ever needed it to do. And I don't need any more knives than this one. I really don't. Besides maybe some fixed blades, which I have some fixed blades um, as well. Not a lot, not a ton of fixed blades, but I have a few. But those are used uh, for camping and you know outdoor tasks. That's what I use. So EDC stuff, that pair of three would do everything I needed. No big deal. Even this bug out. Uh, this is the next knife. We might as well talk about it. Why did I keep this one? Well, for one, it has my logo on it. Not logo but my edc gear reviews channel name uh, i've had it a long time it's been used sharpened quite often you can see by the edge this is the carbon fiber elite handle though so i did upgrade that and it has a rock or uh, rock scale design yeah i think so um bronze backspacer with the bronze thumb stud just thought it looked cool it's my ultimate lightweight knife and it goes on gym shorts when i go to the gym it stays in my gym bag most of the time honestly so that's why that one stayed around um, so that's it. It's not a lot. There's six. I just have this flashlight in here. This is one of the EDC flashlights I carry. Titan Plus. Um, I, I've just minimalized everything. I only have like two EDC flashlights now, and I used to have tons. I only have this many knives. I just have decided that I'd rather spend my disposable income on gun stuff, guys, for the now, for the time being. That's subject to change at any time, I'm sure. But uh, just in case you guys were wondering, I've had a few comments, questions about why i was selling so much stuff and part of it was i needed money for those braces those are freaking expensive especially for two kids at the same time but uh a lot of it has to do with just this is what works for me and what i like um like i said strider just released a new model and i'll have that video up on that as soon as i get it i, I was lucky to get on that last drop it's similar in size to an sng but it's got a little bit different design not sure i'm gonna like it or not um the sng is my pretty much my all-time favorite knife um and that's the thing you represent here too. All-time favorite, all-time favorite, all-time favorite. The bug out is actually an all-time favorite too. Um, the Emerson just happened to be a good beater and it's really comfortable. But most of these are all-time favorite knives. Um, yes, there's no Sierra K in here. I know I used to have like a billion Sebenzas and I don't know why I just got bored of them. I just really did, just the same stuff. I haven't even tried the new 31. I should, right? Hopefully someone will send me one to try. <laughs> hint, hint. You got a spins of 31 i'd like to show it on my channel i'd like to check it out as long as you don't mind me using it and carrying it but um if not i'll just do a video on it too but if anyone's got one i'd like to check one out to see what the hypes uh, actually the lack of hype is more likely because people have had some issues with the locking lock up on them so i'd still want to check one out i still think chris reeves the top three manufacturer with strider <clears throat> and hinder but i for me, it almost it's like it's almost Spider Co replaces them in a lot of ways. Even though it's, the quality is not as high, it's still good. And there's so many steel variations, and there's so much more variety with Spider Co. But if I were to name my big three, it would be Hinder, Strider, and Spider Co. Right now, so 
Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. It's kind of rambling, but we'll see you on the next one.